All right, so this uh, quick video, I'm going to show you how to use the Media Access class with uh, MetaBox, uh, WordPress Alchemy MetaBox, and uh, the repeating fields. So the initial version didn't work quite well with repeating fields. Um, I recently made an adjustment to the MetaBox class. It's up on GitHub now, the latest version being 1.4.5, so make sure you have that version. And um, this is my basic setup right here. I've got my MetaBox. I've got my uh, repeating field definition. I'm just going to show you that. Um, as you've seen before, half fields and multi. That function there. Uh, group open, group close, and, and here's the repeating area. Now this is the uh, definition for the media access um, object or the, the the field and the button and if you if this looks unfamiliar to you make sure you watch the first video I have up here uh, just so you can kind of get your bearings straight so in this particular case what you need to you need to name set a group name uh, you can set it whatever you want but um, you know at the end somewhere I mean let's say you named it image um, at the end you need the letter n and uh, the current index um, and the meter box will let you do that with the get the index or the index uh, uh, method of the class so as I have it set up right here in uh, index so ultimately let me show you real quick so let's see where my cursor is at here uh, you'd have n1 n2 and so forth and uh, the JavaScript's going to pick that up and actually do the incrementing, the auto incrementing for you. So, uh, so I've got that set up in place, and let me, I guess I'll, I'll keep this name. So I've got this set up in place. I'm going to click save. Uh, I'm going to go into my browser here, and I've got a repeating field. So let me refresh real quick. And so here's my media box, and you've seen exa example of how it works already. So I'm just going to select a picture here, click insert. My path gets inserted. If I click add, another box gets uh, inserted. I'm going to click again, click insert, and there I am. Um, click again, and again, it gets incremented. Um, so at this point, you should be able to go ahead and get it done. Uh, I'm going to show you just in Firebug, just because <laughs> I get technical a little bit sometimes. Um, but you know, you can stop watching the video now, or you can continue. Um, let me show you the field itself. So these are the fields here, and there's this last uh, field which is hidden, but it has a uh, class of two copies. So every time you click the add button that field gets uh, cloned uh, and gets placed uh, in the DOM and you ultimately see it. So in this particular case there's always, you see this number right here, so there's N3 so it says N3 here and then equally you have uh, these brackets, uh, bracket 3 and um, so forth. Uh, the JavaScript will actually detect and look for those the bracket 3 and N3 and will automatically do the incrementing. So as things get cloned, you're going to see N2 or bracket 2 or you're going to see N1 or bracket 1 and then for the first one obviously 0 and, uh, and N, N0. So it does the, the auto incrementing all by itself. Um, so anyway, that's just some some background uh, for any you know technical people who wanted to uh, to know.